thought this would be a great place to record a video, but it's a little loud. It is quite pretty here, though. I want to try and capture my thoughts right now while I'm still in the U.S. before I leave. I'm very excited for this new adventure. I'm excited to have you guys along with me for the journey. I don't know, I guess I should probably give you some reasons why I'm doing it, right? Well, first time I went to Germany was about three years ago. And I kind of went on a whim with a, a buddy of mine. And I couldn't believe how much I fell in love with this country. It's people, it's sights, it's infrastructure, beer, everything. Everything just felt right. And I knew my time there was just too short. So I went back the next year. And luckily I was able to share that with another friend of mine, which was great. And I knew before I even boarded the plane back to States that I had to go back for a longer period of time. I knew there was so much left I had to experience in that country with those people in that scene. It's one of those times in your life where you just know you have to be somewhere else. You have to be in a different place than you are. I'd never felt that more strongly than landing in Munich for the second time two years ago. I felt like I was going home. To be honest, I'd never really felt like that here in the States, ever. Even when I went home, you know, it felt familiar. But it never felt, I don't know, it, it never felt easy. It never felt natural, but it did feel familiar. Hello. Yeah, so I decided about two years ago I needed to go back, and I didn't really know how or when, and the events of 2020 and 2021 have, for whatever reason, granted me that opportunity. So I'm going to take full advantage of that while I can, and yeah, honestly, I don't have a whole lot of a plan when I go over there. There's a lot I want to see and do and cycle and see some old friends and make some new friends drink a lot of Augustiner, of course. But yeah, for the most part, I want to be capturing every week I spend there because while I have been there twice, you know, I've never lived there truly. So this will be my first impression ever of living in Munich. And if I ever come back after this, then I'll never see it with this set of eyes again. So. It's something that's important to me to capture now in the moment and share with all of you. So there's not a lot open here. I think that plane just went to Frankfurt. There's a bar. That's closed. But there's a lounge somewhere, so let's go find it. So I made it to the business class lounge, but it's uh, pretty empty as you can see. Let's see if there's any drinks. Sadly, there were no alcoholic drinks available. However, there are plenty of soft drinks, sparkling water, and little snacks. And we got a great view of our A350 sitting on the tarmac. Pretty soon it was time to board the flight, which luckily we could do directly from the lounge, which was certainly a treat for me. When I arrived at my window seat, I was very happy to see I had a pillow and some blankets for sleeping that night, as well as a complimentary little toiletry kit. The food was quite delicious and I was happy to scarf it down because it had been pretty much the only thing I'd eaten that day. While the drink service was a bit slow, I did manage to sneak in a cheeky cocktail before bedtime. Pretty soon it was time for bed and try and catch a few winks before our arrival in Munich. Sadly, by the time my taxi had arrived at the 
hotel. My room was not ready yet. However, that was fine with me. I wanted to take advantage of the beautiful weather and take a stroll through Munich's Olympic Park. So I landed in Munich this morning. Uh, flight went really well, very smooth, no problems. After a bit of faffing around, I got the SIM card working. So yeah, got to the hotel, not ready for me yet. So I'll be coming back later. Walk along the Olympic Park or to the Olympic Park. And I'm just noticing this kind of abandoned looking rail line. So I made it to the Olympic Park. First impressions of Germany so far. It's so chill compared to the US anyway. Like there's just not that anxiety going on and it's just, I don't know, it's down a couple paces and I really like it. I'm digging it so far. Plus it's a beautiful day out and not humid. Sadly, this video doesn't have much of a conclusion, which I will blame on the jet lag, but you get the point. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.